Laserscanning TV, Eric here, uh, in this uh, short series we speak about this dudes and if you don't know what this is and what it's doing and the name is Apple Tech, yeah, then you should stay tuned. Yeah, uh, gentlemen, this is a short video, figure out in the German ones. Uh, we have a little bit to explain, but I do it short for you. We speaking about this uh, dudes here, gentlemen here, call them Apple Techs, and you're thinking, what the hell have this to do with Apple and tax? I think more it's just tax stuff, but this is a reference point. I can say it's like a reference system, and this is used in uh, like for um, to capture with sensors, like with cameras or the lasers, and also in robotic autonomous driving. This is an application they have these uh, cameras and lasers inside. And this is their target points, like we have it for the other scanners, the reference spheres and the other targets, checkerboard targets. This is a target. Specific ones is, you see, it's like, we can see, oh, that's is a digital art. But no, that's just an information. Also you have behind this pattern and you make it with a pattern um, analysis or detection is here an information. And this pattern means number zero. Also um, camera can see it, the software, you get out number zero. And it's from Tech Family 36H11. And if you can read this one, it's this number three from this text family. And now uh, you can riddle by yourself what we have here. I don't know, it's number one, okay? There you have it. Also we have different kinds of pattern and this gives you information behind them, that's the name. And we check this for you because the important stuff is why we check this, uh, making testing, it's uh, one point on, uh, in the beginning, we have this, it's magnetic, like, you know, I'm a steel man, good by myself. But you can find them in the internet and you can copy this on your paper sheet and put this on the wall. Now you have to do it correct like this. Okay, yeah, that's how it works. But let me explain with this because we have to check how, like uh, I am now a sensor or like I'm, I'm a roboter here. Yeah, that's me. I'm a roboter, I'm coming here. And how I can see this? Can I see it here? And can I see it also if I'm the robot and come from the side? And this, we do some checks for you. And uh, our goal was in which distance we can detect this uh, Apple tech. What is our view angel, like 90 degrees? or 45, like 45 or 60. This we check, and this I show you here on the screen. Yeah, what we check, we check uh, um, different target size uh, coming a little bit down, and we use different sensors. Sensors was um, iOS beta uh, system sensors, and on Android we test uh, PrimeSense Garmin, uh, PrimeSense uh, 108 and 109 short range is from the dot product and into the RealSense D4015. Also this was sensors we have already here in the office. And we measure indoor under daylight condition. Yeah, and there you see if we use this dot product system, the different platforms like the Android platforms with the sensors and also the Apple platform, uh, they have uh, in their software um, a computer vision uh, tool would automatic can detect this one is number one. Okay, and you see it, it is correct. You see here, they find then the targets and give you information and we check how they can see it, yeah. And uh, what we check, uh, we have to go down here. It's we use different target size, 16 to 16 centimeters, 15 to 15 and 10 to 10. Because I think we try out what is a good one to work. The first check what we do is 45 degrees, like we looking like this one. And we have there with this Apple system, you have to be on the big one, you have to be two meters, less is two meters, um, and the small one less is one meter. The best one is here, the D4015, that's a little bit bigger ones with a larger field, uh, is three meter to three meter. If we have optimal condition, like 90 degrees, uh, we can see everything with five meters. That's a little bit interesting. Uh, there we are better with this scanner. And less, ah, this is a short range. Yeah, that makes sense. The short range is three meters. Everything else can be up over five, uh, less than five meters, five meters. And here, pretty similar. Now you see the iOS coming a little bit down with smaller target size. This means the resolution of the iPad, it's not the same like the from PrimeSense. And then we have also the 60 degrees. You see here also some differences. Uh, the conclusion is um, it's the working, but you have to be close enough. And you need also a very good, uh, point of view like from the angle stuff. I think that's the important ones. Or if you want going see this more far away, then maybe you need a bigger target. Okay. And for what we can use this with scanners, uh, there, should I have to drink something? It's tea time. Um, 
Ja, yeah. um, for scanners, there is uh, one very good application. I think the people, uh, there's two applications what I know. I think one is what is inside of dot product system, but also Faro Freestyle. And maybe other uh, uh, scanner use this too. At first we have, this is our scanner. Uh, this is our uh, Apple tech, we light on the ground. Then we take our, let me, this is my scanner now. Yeah, That's my handheld scanner, my Apple I, iOS, I don't know, something. And I start to scanning and shut this point in beginning. Then I walk in the room, the complete area, coming back and I am on the same position. And if we capture a large area, we get some uh, calculation in accuracy. And then we spot this target again the same, but realistic wise, now it's in case of this inaccuracy of the calculation, it's maybe a little bit di different. We see the same target now here, as we have in distance. This is the inaccuracy. And then the software can say, oh, I know this is the same targets. I mean, here, not the same targets, here different, but there is the same targets. And then the software move it together on one place and because you know the um, correction and he used the correction with a uh, function on all sc your scan data and correct your scan data set. That we call them the loop closing uh, calculation. That's one point. The other one, it's something what the product people are using. They're taking two of them or maybe two other ones, like every time couples, put them on the one size of the room, large scale, on the other side of the room, stay here. On the other side, and you can imagine you can also do it like here and here. I don't show you because I'm not a, I don't know, tentacle guy. Um, and they use it as reference place. Then they take the scanner, scanning this, going there and scanning this. And from the scan, you can calculate the distance between these two Apple tags. Then you know the distance in your scan data set, and then they take an other system like a disto, put this here and measure with the disto the same area. And then you have a reference system. And if you have a very good disto, you can have one to two millimeters on the room size. And then they, calcul uh, they compare this distance, reference distance, with the measured from the scan data, and they can also correct then your data set. These are the two applications what you can do with scanner with uh, Apple Tags. Other applications are definitely robotic, autonomous driving, and all these stuff, cameras. They're using also these uh, information. Gentlemen, that was all to this topic, Apple Tag, and what you can do with Apple Tag in the scanning world. If you like these items, you can purchase this in our web shop. I think there are some offers for you. Yeah, like every time, uh, I'm happy that you'll be the guest to this show. And if you have any comments, uh, then leave a comment. Uh, not forget, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, bye-bye, Eric. Till next time. <laughs>